newspaper headlines, statues, plaques, street names. There are so many ways to be remembered. In the words of Banksy, you died twice. One time when you stopped breathing, and a second time, a bit later on, when somebody says your name for the last time. With this in mind, the question arises. How do you want to be remembered? How do you want to ensure that you create a legacy that carries your memory through to future generations? How do you ensure that you never die twice? That you create a positive change and an everlasting mark that will allow you to live forever? There is one world leader whose legacy, in my eyes, will never fade. During the 1973 Yom Kippur War, Israel's territory and right to exist was attacked by two countries, from North and South. With courage and strategy, Israel's first female Prime Minister, Golda Meir, encouraged countless women to pursue their own paths in politics and leadership. Golda Meir also guided Israel's fight from what seemed like a doomed existential crisis to survival and victory. Future generations are inspired by her resilience and leadership, emphasizing the vitality of hope and bravery in the face of dire situations. In addition, as an early and revolutionary feminist, Golda Meir has left a lasting legacy by which she is immortalized. However, it is important to note that leaving a memorable mark does not require you to change the future of an entire country. Some of the greatest marks left behind are not written in print or engraved in stone, but are imprinted on our hearts and minds, as they are by people that built a personal and meaningful legacy. One that doesn't necessarily impact the whole world, but impacts us as individuals. Simple, everyday acts of kindness, compassion, and generosity imprint on people deeply, and are more valuable than any achievements or materialistic measures of success. You do not have to be famous or powerful. You do not have to discover, invent, cure, or create something incredible. Some of the greatest marks that people have left on the world are not the largest, not the widest, but the ones which run deepest. The ones which involve connecting others through small acts of kindness, which cause a ripple effect. In the words of Ronald Reagan, no one can help everyone, but everyone can help someone. Newspaper headlines, statues, plaques, street names. These marks remain unmoved, grounded in the present. But legacies are fluid. They carry on to the future. A legacy, your legacy, carries on forever.